Hello, my beautiful people. This is Anna Sharif again. Seasons greetings to you guys, and I hope you guys are doing good this holiday season. So today I want us to talk about all the funds, money, grant that Sierra Leone has received 20, from World Bank in 2021. I'm not talking about the ones they received last year and the year before that we didn't see any development. Let's talk about the ones that I've researched about and we have known about. So, on June 11, 2021, the World Bank, it says, today approved a 40 million grant for the interna from the International Development Association, IDA, for the Accountable Governance for Basic Service Delivery Project. The project will improve resource management, transparency and accountability of government systems to ensure effective delivery of local development programs and basic services in Sierra Leone. It aims to strengthen the ability of local councils to carry out service delivery mandate in key sectors such as health and education, which are the, 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 the two main sectors that are lacking main sectors, I say, that are lacking, important areas that are lacking in Sierra Leone. Education and health system. The healthcare system is very poor. So is the educational system. Sierra Leone used to be the anthem of West Africa. And the other country, then they come for Kalan book. Now, now they go to another country for land book. What happened to educational system? Now, God wrong against Sabi. Corruption. Sex for grades. I don't do a project on that. Then teacher, if you not sleep, then I know they give better grade. I said it. Mm -hmm. I've done a research on it and I did a video. It's on YouTube. Go watch it. This report also says the project is aligned with the World Bank Group COVID-19 crisis response framework. It is also fully aligned with the country partnerships framework for Sierra Leone, which emphasizes accountable governance in the use of public finances and the delivery of quality and inclusive education and health services. It will build on the existing World Bank support to public financial management reforms and other accountability systems at the central and local levels. That is what this money, this is what these funds were, were given to Sierra Leone for to improve educational system and the healthcare system. Another money they don't give for another healthcare system, but we'll talk about that further. The COVID-19 pandemic has highlighted the importance of better governance for improved service delivery. And this project provides a systematic approach for the government of Sierra Leone to incentivize improvement in governance for basic service delivery across multiple levels of government said Gail Martin, World Bank Country Manager for Sierra Leone. This project will strengthen accountability relationships between citizens and local government to ensure that increased resources are used for qualitative priority local development programs. Was that used on that particular sector? Because if it was, why are we still receiving 60 million for another healthcare system? Well, anyway, let's move on. So the 40 million that was approved on June 11, 2021 was for the Accountable Governance for Basic Service Delivery Project. On June 25th, again, 2021, it says, the World Bank Board of Executive Directors today approved a 50 million grant from the International Development Association, IDA, for the Resilient Urban Sierra Leone Project. The project will improve integrated urban management, service delivery, and disaster risk management in the western area and selected district capitals across the country. It will help address the needs of the capital Freetown as the economic engine for Sierra Leone while catering to the unique opportunities and challenges in the district capitals such as Bo, Makeni, Kuwaitu, Port Loko, and Banff. The project will support an integrated spatial approach to the multi-sectoral urban development challenges facing the country, including integrated urban planning, own source revenue enhancement, infrastructure upgrading, solid waste management, and disaster preparedness and management with the aim to support and advance 
livable, well-planned, financial sustainable, and productive urban centers. It complements a range of government programs, World Bank projects, and development partners support, support to leverage maximum impact for the people of Sierra Leone. The lack of defined urban policies and land use and management of public invest, investment continue to hamper sound urban management, particularly in district capitals, said Gail Martin, World Bank Country Manager for Sierra Leone. This project offers a major opportunity to ensure well-managed urbanization and support growth, investment, and opportunity aspirations. Furthermore, given Sierra Leone's vulnerability to climate-related shocks, this project supports the country's disaster risk um, management capital capacity, I mean, contributing to sustainability and resilience. 50 million to support resilient urban Sierra Leone project. Now, this was in June, but we keep seeing disaster upon disaster happening in that country. What happened to that $50 million? It is not 50 million loans, $50 million. That is a lot of money that will help develop neighborhoods. It says for solid waste management, when all don't pass na kisi road, how messy that place they. This type of money where they give government for able for clean the whole country, not even just Freetown. But would they still see poor neighborhoods in another country they filthy neighborhoods in another country. With that being said, low focus. Let's focus on the funds that were received last week again by um from World Bank by Sierra Leone. Kube is a settlement in the capital city of Sierra Leone. The capital of Sierra Leone is Freetown. The Kube community is nothing less than a slum. The environment is located at the edge of the river locale which makes flooding a very serious issue in every rainy season. Properties are being lost and the lives of children are in constant threat as there is at least three cases of drowned kids every year. In the heart of Kobe, there are large gutters that transfer sewage into the river Rokel. All sorts of sewage are being disposed of into these gutters. A major sewage donor around that vicinity is the Connaught Hospital. The Connaught Hospital is one of the largest hospitals in Sierra Leone. All unwanted water and liquid waste from that hospital is being transported into some of these gutters. Along the gutters, children pee, bath, and even pass feces. One may wonder how these hardening conditions are for the environs within Kube, cholera, Dysentery, chronic cold, and malaria. So, um, December 11th, 2021, this is by Sierra Leone Telegraph newspaper. It says, the World Bank on Thursday approved 60 million grant financing to support maternal and child health services that would benefit 2 million people in Sierra Leone. 60 million. The Sierra Leone Quality Essential Health Services and System Support Project, funded by a 40 million International Development Association IDA grant and 20 million grant from the Global Financing Facility GFF, will help the government of Sierra Leone um, build resilient, efficient, and equitable health system 
for expanding coverage and utilization of essential health services to reduce disease and mortality of Sierra Leoneans. That was that that was 60 million that was in that was approved to improve quality essential health services and system support, you know, in Sierra Leone. Let us take a look um, or, 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 um, at the statistics of um, child mortality and um, maternal health in Sierra Leone. According to UNICEF, the maternal mortality rate in Sierra Leone is the highest in the world with 1,360 mothers dying in every 100 live, 100,000 live births. That is really high. The mortality rate of neonate, infant, and children under five are also amongst the highest globally at 34, 82, and 111 deaths per 1,000 live births, respectively. Again, that number is high. Those numbers are very high. These staggering figures represent the real and pervasive challenges women and children face in Sierra Leone with poor health care practices and substandard and ill-equipped health care facilities. Ill-equipped, which is so true. I remember um, one of my niece, Nabo, a go Nabo government hospital, a go for go born. They begin in pain and they cry so much with on the phone with her. And they ask for pain medication. Government hospitals say pain medication not available. They, they, they begin for buying your pain medication. So now the family buy the pain medication. Everybody knows somebody's dead. That this person was pregnant and she's now dead. This woman was pregnant, she's now dead. Oh, I lost my sister, she was pregnant. Everybody knows people who are dying from maternal death in Sierra Leone. Seven years after the end of the Civil War, Sierra Leone is still struggling to rebuild its healthcare system. Even the few relatively modern hospitals are chronically underfunded. Corruption is a problem, and they lack many of the most basic facilities. Are the relatives around? One shocking consequence that is often overlooked is that one in eight women in Sierra Leone dies giving birth, as opposed to one in 4,000 in developed countries. We examined the woman. We did a Doppler ultrasound examination on the abdomen, and uh, we didn't get a fetal heart. So that means that we lost the baby. We, we have to get the blood for her. We have to get at least two liters. She's now being resuscitated, and we, got, we, we try to get two liters. That means if we need to do an operative procedure, we may need the blood because she's still living. Although healthcare is supposed to be free for pregnant women, in fact, this is seldom true. Really. Patients and their families are often forced to pay for treatment that they simply cannot afford. Mm -hmm. In a country where over 50% live on less than a dollar a day, and a quarter live in extreme poverty, the poorer you are, the more likely you are to die giving birth. You know how many days that woman died in the office in Panama? Or was it? When I'm listening to what this doctor is going to say. I don't know if he's a doctor who can identify okay. himself. So if you need medicine, now we own business. That, that yeah, yeah. Now they tell the patient, the patient and people then so. The new man needs medicine. Now they are you. Right now you need blood, you need medicine. Again, I just have played no more. I just can't bond the picky now. The picky sleep one day, picky two day, they die. If you go to hospital, you don't get money, they die. If you give half money at the hospital, then they hold and they say, but you full up the money, you they die. If you not of God, which this me and see, me they cannot die. They drive me and the reward and say that I'll go. You cannot get the money for pay. All the money. Me and see they cry, they go and let less money, money all day. And the money then they cause this problem, why would they die? 
this country money. Money where World Bank they give all the time and they make you suffer. Sierra Leone is divided into 13 districts, only seven of which offer even basic emergency health care to pregnant women. Limited road access and poor communications makes it often impossible for isolated communities to access medical services in time. So according to this um, uh, um, um, article again from um, UNICEF, it says maternal death account for 36% of all deaths among women aged 15 to 49 years. The leading direct causes of maternal mortality in Sierra Leone are obstetric hemorrhage, 46%, hypertension, 22%, obstructed labor, 21%, and sepsis, 11%. Causes of neonatal death are prematurity, 30%, asphyxia, 27%, sepsis again, 23%, pneumonia, 7%, congenital, 7%, and other, um, others are 7%. Newborn conditions are 29%, malaria, 20%, acute respiratory infection, ARI, 12% and diarrhea disease, 10%, are responsible for more than 70% of the under five deaths. Many of these deaths are preventable if managed timely by skilled healthcare um, um, providers, which I agree with. You know, I'm not saying we do not have professionals in Sierra Leone. I'm not saying we do not have um, nurses and doctors who can care for these people. The problem is the corruption. The problem is when you go to hospitals, they ask you to give them money. They ask you to buy your own medications. They ask you to pay for your own services. These are government hospitals. This is the reason why World Bank is giving this amount of money, you know, to fund these different sectors, you know, in, 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 in our country. Where uh, we are lacking areas that we are lacking poverty you know healthcare system healthcare system is one of the most important that any country should provide for their citizens with 60 million dollars to support 2 million people in Sierra Leone we are expecting the government to ensure these funds goes to that particular sectors goes to the people that needed it most and it should be distributed across the country, not just in Freetown. Not to Freetown no more forget all them funds. They are not to Freetown no more for supposed to forget all the money that where they, where, where, where World Bank they give. Other poor areas that they, other poor districts that they, where they suffer. They all need for benefit from this money, Yasu. The poverty indicators in the 2019 multidimensional poverty index report by Statistics Sierra Leone are clear and undisputed, says Honorable Aaron Aruna Koroma, adding that even though Tonkolili is presently the biggest district, but transportation for farm products to access the market is difficult, making farmers poorer. He noted that high infant mortality rate is another problem due to inaccessibility to proper health facilities. Tonkoili is the third poorest district in the country. And by statistics, it is about 84.5% poorer. Um, after Kujo, which is the poorest, which is poorer by 87 point something, and Kwenadu, which is about 86 point something. Like remember in 2010, 2010 poverty before report, it also revealed that Tonkoili was the second poorest after Moemba. And with recent data, it also shows that some is also poor. So it's not like I'm putting anybody to blame, but I'm like craving the judges of government to write this wrong this time around. When it comes to budgetary allocation, we have to take it to condition of poverty index because you should lift people above poverty. And I'm sure the poverty index should be one of the indicators. Uh, the local government finance department, they should use that as a key tool. Residents who reacted agreed with the outcome of the multidimensional poverty index report and however called on the intervention of government to empower the district through alternative means. And it's also employment or the FCC, the issue of poverty is a common issue in Arakan society. Is it because if people get jobs, at least they're able to engage, I mean, in one thing or the other, they're able to get something, at least augment something for their families. That's true, what did they talk say? Uh, Tonkolili, like the third poorest uh, district, 
Because the proof they show, you know, they see with picking them, then they go to school. Why we ask them the parent and they say they don't get money to pay for the picking them? Let them help, help you follow up, get micro credit. Let them support women and let them do agriculture. Because all the things here where we've lost the dog, we do trade, we do agriculture, then do we land. We all they do something where we will improve the development of this nation. We feel sad because young age like we so now, at least they look out for development. We aim now and follow where we make them. Like the member of parliament, some residents in the Tonkolili district maintained that there are disparities in allocation of national development budgets, indicating that developed districts receive higher than poorer districts, which makes poor districts poorer and rich districts richer. Salivujiano Kamara. So the World Bank International Development Association idea established in 1960 helps the world's poorest countries by providing grant and low to zero interest loans for projects and programs that boost economic growth, reduce poverty, and improve poor people's lives. IDA is one of the largest source of assistance for the world's 76 poorest countries, 39 of which are in Africa. Resource from IDA brings positive change to the 1.6 billion people who live in IDA countries. Since 1960, IDA has supported development work in 130 13 countries. Annual commitments have averaged about 21 billion over the last three years, with about 61% going to Africa. This is by um, Telegraph newspaper. So, since 1960, the International World Bank um, Development Association, they help poor countries then for bring positive change, whether they give money to the poorest countries than at the world. So this, this positive change, me, I know they see in Africa, in Sierra Leone. Then they receive all this money they ask. At the end of the day, the country they left dirty, poor, you know, sickness, flood. You know, the Transform Freetown Project, I don't do um, a, a, a video on that. Not just supposed for focus on planting trees. It's supposed for also focus on cleaning that city. When I go to Bow Town, where I go Freetown 2040, I go to Makini, Makini clean. Bow Town always clean. Then continue with that, that keep the city clean. Since NPRC, they stay to the board and they do their own. The country then clean. Kenema clean. But when you can inside the capital Freetown, it dirty. Their money they also need for they go to them to them to this particular uh, 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 development bring positive change for heaven's sake. We get so much resources. I continue for say this, but we 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 still there among the poorest countries in the whole world. The whole world. People then Africa some African countries then they where then they use live on their own resources, but not a we oh, not a we. With all that gold, bauxite, rutile, diamond, the biggest. Sierra Leone is still among the poorest countries. Always taking money for international communities. And the way international community want to tell, they're waiting for do. Where money no involved, they don't get right for tell you anything. Mm -hmm. But now where money involved, all man they smile. And we're not going to see what they get for user on. So now make could they bring can this report and follow on that they know. Say them money there. So the, the, the uh, World Bank don't give so much money. So now talk about the next money where World Bank don't give. So on December 17 again this year, that was last week, again, after the $60 million, it says the World Bank board has approved an International Development Association grant. Again, a grant, not a loan. Of 75 million to improve natural resource governance, enhance inclusiveness, and promote sustainability of development financing in Sierra Leone. This is by Telegraph newspaper. According to the World Bank, this development policy operations DPO is the first in the series of three operations focusing on inclusive and sustainable growth financing aimed at supporting the government effort to build the foundation of a robust, inclusive, and sustainable economic recovery from the pandemic. Now, when they say inclusiveness, we all know say it's not possible, not even in Sierra Leone. And we'll go see soon because 
All the money that would they come, most of the government that wouldn't come, who didn't see them now, who said they're interested in they didn't send the money there so. And then they send them. We see what thing be happening at the APC government. They are drawing the function about the center and Makini. We go talk them. Everybody they try for improve their own side. But when when you, you World Bank they give their money there, inclusivity means in, in everybody for benefit from their money there. So not to just one sector, not to just who say you come out, not to just who say you day. Then they give this money to Sierra Leoneans them. To Sierra Leone for develop this, the lives of Sierra Leoneans, for develop the country for heaven's sakes. 75 million Leon, I mean dollars. Look me, they say Leons. <laughs> Hmm. 75 million dollars for improved natural resource governance, enhance inclusiveness and promote sustainability of development financing in Sierra Leone. Sustainability, the country day inside darkness. By God, this 75 million years. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I continue for say million years. Me people don't have forgiven. A million dollars. Million dollars supposed to Power the whole country, not to just free town. But right now, they talk free town in darkness, basic necessity of life. Sierra Leone government able to provide them for their citizens water, electricity. Food cost is high. What's the money? No, even value anymore. You know? So, we want long on no say, government don't give this type of money. This, this report also say Sierra Leone faces major economic and social challenges, including um, substantial gender gaps now, that lead to low human development outcomes, say the World Bank. Even World Bank no say, we country na a male-dominated country, where for let you give women chance, sometimes it's difficult. I they tell na I they talk this every day. When I give woman chance for lead Sierra Leone, long na see the changes that we will make na that country. Day. You know, most times you guys fail to realize, women, women, women. I will say it again. Uh, the source of life. Would they bring life? Would the men who picking the wood they born? Even the male dominated country, the man the way they did, now woman born them, now who they mend them, who them big, who them get power, then take with the woman they are second class citizen. But they challenge Sierra Leoneans then today. The woman, what we see, very strong minded, development minded, where they call the good message to woman, where we run for president, on a grand chance, look on see. The development will go happen in Sierra Leone. But for some reason, women are dating up. And are not even given a chance. The gender gap in Sierra Leone is too. There is still nowhere around the world where women are equal to men in terms of legal, social and economic rights. Equality campaigners have been advocating for policies and programs that promote gender equality. But there are still challenges that limits women's access to power and inclusion. The mayor of Freetown is another office which rarely has women in it. Constance Cummings John was the first woman appointed mayor. Prior to the election of Yvonne Aki Sawyer as mayor in 2018, it had been 38 years since a woman held that position. My decision to run for mayor was really um, influenced by my concerns for the environment and sanitation. Those were the primary objectives I had. Um, the fact that I was a woman was actually more brought to my attention than, than it being something coming from inside me outwards. Um, one of the things that I did recognize during the campaign, though, was because clearly I was campaigning in the same space as seven men. Um, one, one of the things I recognized was that my narrative was different because I was a woman. And it, it highlighted to me the difference that women bring to the political space. It's not that we are in any way less capable, absolutely not. 
when it comes to professional capability, technical know-how, even political uh, um, acumen. You know, women have the same, can achieve the same as men, um, have the same sort of skills and so forth. But what we, what we bring, which is unique, is a different lens. So the fact that our gender is one where historically there's a nurturing element. I mean, biologically, you know, we, we give birth to children. Emotionally, we often have to carry so much. It means that when you're looking at a set of problems within the city, you don't look at it purely from that technical or political lens. You also look at it from the perspective of compassion. I feel that there's so much more compassion um, that women can bring. That's not to say I don't think that men aren't compassionate. This is not an either or. I'm simply saying that women have a lens which is unique. It would be good to be 50-50 or reflect the gender um, 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 divide in society. But I think if we compare ourselves to other countries, we have done pretty well. Um, that's not to say we're there. We may not be there yet, but Sierra Leonean women are definitely making their way in paths once considered too much of a challenge for women. Leadership is not something which women uh, would be expected to take. So what do I say to women who are aspiring for office? Go for it. It's demonstrating exactly. our potential. That is what really matters. Go People will it. continue to say what they say until you prove them, you prove otherwise, until you prove them wrong. And you prove them wrong by being persistent, by being dogmatic, by, by pushing your way into that space. Obviously, politely, kindly, sweetly, but knowing that it's your space and you have a right to it. It's unfortunate, but you have people thinking, oh, um, women, if you get women into these positions, they're, they have so much doing, they have the family, they have the kids. I mean, I start to wonder, how can you use somebody's proactiveness, somebody's um, multi-role to, to militate against that? We are mothers, yes, we take care of homes, we take care of kids. So why should that militate against women? But to be we honest, it happens in every country, even here in the United so States. You cannot say that if you have too many women, oh, they'll have so many other things. Doing. Give them the opportunity and you see how they manage their homes. I mean, we manage being managers in the home, uh, breadwinners, we're the healthcare providers, you know, we're the counselors. We do all of that. We multitask. So give them the opportunity. They can be managers, even though they are running homes, they are managing husbands, they are managing children. So that was one of the things I found, I mean, relating at that level. 